She comes into my life when its walls are still painted with smoke and thunder. She looks at my long, chipping fingernails as though they are floorboards that she will attempt to pry away when she thinks I'm not paying attention. Perhaps she expects to find secrets underneath. Perhaps I should tell her I am not the beginning to a horror movie. I was, always, I was always told I was more of a film noir type of girl. There are so many questions that she has, so many questions about to be birthed into the stale air, about to fall into her office, so we begin. When did you start to feel this sad? Sad is not the word for this. Do you have any physical ailments? Every headache I get is a haunted house that deserves to be burned to the ground. What causes your panic attacks? Other people's eyes, crystal balls in the moment that the sun sets. Do you have any fears or phobias? See last answer. We meet on Tuesdays. More questions are populating the planet that orbits around our two couches, and they do not get easier. But after session number two, my bones stop grinding together, pretending to be my teeth. So that is when I start observing her. She has laughter lines as long as her eyelashes and the best posture I've ever seen. She always keeps her hands in her lap. And when I share particularly upsetting tidbits about my life, she rings them as though they are blouses in the laundry. I observe her and notice that she cares. Of course she cares. And on the last Tuesday that we meet, I try to call her by her first name as much as possible. Yes, Nancy. Thank you, Nancy. That's right, Nancy. You've really, really helped me, Nancy. I wish that my health insurance would let me see you more than six times, Nancy. God damn it, Nancy. I don't know what I'm going to do when I leave this room, Nancy, because the truth is these headaches I get are not houses. They are anything but that. I am a house one could say, a burning one. And house fires are tricky tragedies. After all, I only just learned how to let the smoke come out of my mouth, give the signal that I need help. And I am afraid of forgetting that lesson. I am afraid of picking through my charred self when this is all over as though I am roadkill, out for the bellies of the thieving, hoarding vultures. I don't know what to do, Nancy. Firefighters like you responded to my burning house, but I don't know what the next step is.